Hi everyone, uh, thanks for coming. Uh, today it's my topic is going to be uh, doubles and mixed doubles. Uh, so I'm going to call uh, the four uh, boys men, uh, men's doubles first. So I'm going to ask them to play a uh, five points game first. Get last lady. Thank you. Thanks. You guys wait. Thanks. Uh, as we see doubles players and a single players, we know it's all different. I can tell you the doubles player and the, the difference between the singles player and doubles player. The singles player, you will hit the bird every each other rally. But the doubles player, sometimes you won't get a chance to hit the bird at all too. But the trick in here in the doubles, when you don't hit the players, sometimes the players, they stop playing. This is the problem. Sometimes as you see, what we can do better for them, how we can do better to make their game improve. As I see in the first game, in the first few rallies, two rally, three rally, they make a mistake like this. Why? Their mind is not playing. So when... The doubles is different. Your mind, your eyes is everywhere. Singles, let's say if you talk singles player, your eye focus is only to the front. But the doubles player, when you don't hit the bird, your eyes is at the back as well too. Most of the coach sometimes, when I coach with the different coaches, they, the coach asks them, rotation, attack, defend, counter attack. The question is how are we going to rotate? Does the kid has ability to rotate? Does the kid understand how to rotate? Every player have a different rotation. Every country have a different style of rotation. Even every partner, let's say A, B, C, D. A partner A with C, A with B, that's a different rotation. Because why? Each player have a different ability. Okay? The rotation, how are we going to rotate? How are we going to rotate? We need to train their mind. In here, I got 30 minutes only. That's why after introduction, I won't talk that much about myself. I want to talk about the doubles game. Now, for the doubles, like the mind, it's very important, the mind. Okay? Most of the kids sometimes, they train. Let's say, if we talk about the doubles drill, for me, two hours, not enough to talk about doubles real. If you go to Indonesia, China, Malaysia, Korea, wherever country, the drill is mostly the same. Three against two, two against two, two attack two, three attack two, no lifting. But how are we going to deliver? 
the drill to the players. We need to train their mind. In doubles, the mind, the mind speed, it's very important. The mind speed is very important. So, as you see just now, the way that they play, you can see their eyes are empty. The mind is not there. I'm sorry to say that. Okay, it's probably BWF all because they make, they come at 7:30. <laughs> they are still sleeping. So. What I'm going to do again, I'm going to do the same things again, okay? But I want I wanna, I wanna them to change how they're going to rotate. There is no communication. As you see when they play just now, there is com no communication. Communication is what? Communication is important in double. Communication during the rally, after the rally. During the rally is the most important. Mine, yours, what we should do, right? Is that my bird? Is that your bird? Mid court. Who's gonna get the bird? Should we attack? How we rotate? Okay. So we're gonna watch the game again. One more time again. Uh, same thing again. That's much better in the rally. But again, doubles, intimidation. There is no intimidate. There is no pressure. We need pressure. Pressure come from what? Pressure can come from, yeah, most likely uh, pressure is come from attack. Okay, attack, power, speed. That is attack. Uh, that is, uh, that is uh, intimidate, pressure. Receiving serve. After serve. Okay, this is very important. I would like to take a question, not at the end. I like to take a question. Every time that I finish the drill, everything like this, I like to take a question. I don't want to take question at the end. I know that you have a five minute, 10 minutes, because after five minutes, 10 minutes, I might forget about the drill again, okay? Because I don't plan the drill for this, okay? So any question for now? Anyone have a question? No question? So I'm going to talk about mind, mind speed. How are we going to train the mind speed? As I say already, the timing for doubles, it's very important. Let's say I'm in the front. When I'm in the front, when the bird, when I, when I mind, when I play with my mind, the trick is whenever you don't hit the bird, whoever don't hit the bird usually is the, in the hardest position. Why I say the person that not hitting the bird in the hardest position. The person that hit the bird, usually they know where they're going. What is the next bird? You drop, you, you smash, you clear, you know what you're going to do. But the person that don't hit the bird, that is the key. Your minds have to play even. You even have to move faster. Your mind even have to think faster than the players that touch the bird. Okay? Now, when the players doesn't hit the bird, what they should do, how they're going to play their mind. Let's say player A, my partner, smash. When he's lifting, when he's lifting over there, my mind have to know, does he get backhand shot or does he get overhead shot? You have to be able to timing. The timing is important in doubles. If he, does he jumping overhead shot? You have to be able to know. Then the front person can be able to read the next shot. If you can't read the timing, even that he, just say he smashed already, he using backhand over there, you're still standing in the, in the front. How are you going to rotate? Okay? So, so that, is, that is what I'm saying, that how you're going to train your players with the mind. You can easily to train their body, their physical strength, speed, power. But mind is hard. When you train their mind, Physical, speed, power, everything will come together. So, so what I'm saying is the mind is much stronger than your physical. Okay. Uh, one more game. Now, I'm going to ask them to do no lifting. 
This is a drill usually that the double training in everywhere you can find it. The drill is what? No lifting. No lifting. Because why? Because in doubles you don't want to attack. You don't want to you, you don't want to get attack. I mean, sorry. You don't want to defend too much. So now I'm, I'm going to ask them uh, to do no lifting drill, both of them. Okay, thank you. No lifting, no lifting drill, no lifting drill. Why we do no lifting drill? Does anyone know why we do this drill for the doubles? Coaches, anyone know why we do this drill? The no lifting drill, it's because we want the kids, the players to search, not to wait. When they're lifting, usually they wait. Searching. Searching is important. What does it mean searching? You search the bird. Anticipate. You anticipate the bird. How are you going to anticipate the bird? Sometimes it's easy for the coaches to say, hey, anticipate, anticipate, anticipate. How are you going to anticipate the bird? How are you going to anticipate the bird? Anyone can tell me. Yes. By watching players' movement and the birdie, by watching the situation, by watching the body language, by watching the habit. Sometimes you can find the player's habit. That is why sometimes every time we finish the game or before that we're facing our next opponent, we watch our opponent game. Or we watch our opponent game. We try to read their habit. We try to read their style. And this is important. And that's why... Most, most of the coaches will do this. Okay? Will do this. And how are we gonna how are we gonna read the habit? How 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 are we gonna how are we gonna read the habit? How are we gonna how are we gonna read the? This is that's why this is about mind. You play sometimes you play with the players that you don't even met before. How are you gonna read the habit? First four point five points. First four four points of five points. That is that is that is the time that you need to search. That is the time that you need to read. That is the time, the most important time that you need to use your mind and take the lead. If after the first game or after 21 points, after the one and a half games, you try to read them, it's kind of a bit late. The game is over. When you're going to read it, when you're going to play against them next time, you're not sure. Especially in the World Junior. World Junior, most of the players, that they haven't met each other yet. In the world senior, yes, you can read them. You can learn the, the world senior because the world senior is more tournament, but world junior is a different tournament. But that is important for the junior players. The junior players, we're talking about junior players to learn, to train their mind. Okay, How to train their mind in my way. Like I like to train the mind in my way. If you see them when they play, if you see... Japan, like you see when they play in the competition, what did they do? They make noise. In here, we don't make noise. That's why they all fall asleep. Okay? So we need to make noise. We don't have to learn from Japan. We don't have to learn from China. We don't have to learn from Malaysia, Indonesia. But we need to know why they are doing this. What is the benefit for our players? So that's why when I came to Canada, so I changed a little bit because why? Because Japan, Japan is like hi, and China is yeah. Then I changed it so. <laughs> so <laughs> it's a bit different. But I need to make noise. I need to make noise, and especially uh, you see when they attack, when they smash, when they when they when they celebrate the shot, 
That is part of the energy. If you don't have energy, how I'm going to train your mind? It's impossible. Right? So energy, it's very important. What I mean energy, the aura of yourself. Okay? And who's going to do that? The coach is going to do that. Coach need to be energy to coach. If you don't have energy, then it's hard. It's hard you ask to ask uh, because coach it's a role model, leader, you know, everything. So the coach model, role model, it's important. And from what I see, that as I say, the mind training is a bit hard. It's harder. You want to train their physical usually, it's hard. You just put on the treadmill. You put on the uh, skipping rope and things like this. But when train the mind, and you have to understand, every kid have a different character in here. Okay? So that is, uh, that is what we need to do as a coach in doubles. I think mind speed, it's the most important. Mind speed. Okay? So I'm going to do three against three now. I need the two lady. So this is going to be three against three. They can do anything what they want. Okay, let's go. Okay, thank you. A three against three drill. The three against three drill, the point of the three against three drill, as you see, that is uh, three players in one side of the court and another three players in one side of the court. And you don't see much room. It's all occupied by the players. And this is what important in the doubles. Doubles, it's not same thing with single. In single, you have, you can, sometimes you can see that's a room, that's a room. In doubles, if I hit in the front, the guy's so fast. If I hit at the back, the guy's like a bomb, man. So what should I do? Lifting, I'm wrong. Net, I'm wrong too. Placing, I'm wrong. So this is the trick for the three against three. You don't have much time. You don't, you don't have time. The bird come to you, it's so fast. You don't even have time to rest. Sometimes even breathing. Sometimes even blink your eyes. You have to choose the right moment. Right? And by the, by the way you're placing the shot, you see that three people moving. Where should I put? Where sh what should I do? This is, this, is, this is why we're doing three on three. Okay? Right. So this is... Uh, and another thing is... As you see, sometimes when they play three of three, the girl just now in the front, they kind of like a bit intimidate. How you gonna face it? If you net, you duck, you gonna keep being attacking. Okay? So you have to choose the right moment. After you net, what should you do? You block it, you move forward. Okay? If I net, then I duck. Is that wrong or right? It can be wrong, it can be right. 
Because why? The first person, the person in front of me is already there, and my net is not good. Yeah, your duck is it's a it's a it's a good thing. But if you have a good net already, and you see that your opponent will reach that bird, will reach that bird in a high position or in a low position, you have to be able to read it. You have to be able to calculate it. You have to be able to read the timing. And you see sometimes when in the doubles, the doubles now, it's a bit changed, especially that in a woman's doubles. In a woman's double, that it's not much fooling attacking. Okay? It's a bit changing. It's about what? It's about sometimes changing the rhythm. The men's double, it's a bit different. Mixed double, it's a bit different. So players need to do all these things. It's not just to do in the drill. The coaches must ask, must easy, must, it's easy to ask the players to do the drill. Okay, three against three, you play until tomorrow. Does they know, do they know what is the purpose to do three on three? Do they know three, three attacking two? That it's, that's almost the same drill in everywhere in the world. But we have to deliver. How are we going to deliver this drill? And how are we going to make it like this, fast? Okay? And that's why, at the, as I think Rodrigo told you guys, the first time I came to Canada, I think in 2003, Canada have a different, different style. I can't use Asian style to coach in Canada. I cannot use it. Because why? In Asian, you can practice your shot. You can practice your skill. They train seven hours a day. In Canada, they train eight hours a week. Right? It's hard. How am I going to make it like fast? Like FedEx, not post office. So I'm going to make it fast, mine. So I'm going to train their mind. So when I train their mind, it's automatic. In Asia, in, 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 in Asia, in my country, Indonesia, you can practice one shot, one drill for one hour. Hey, it's different. Different in, in, in Asia and in, uh, I mean, uh, in the top country, even in Denmark or, or England or everywhere. But I'm from Indonesia. That's why I'm, I'm using an example as Asia. Like in Asia, you see those players, the world champion, you know, Olympic champion, all England. In Canada, it's all in one. What does it mean all in one? They study. They want to play everything good. Piano good. The, the, the parents, they want a piano good. They want to study good. They want to become doctor. They want to become professor at the same time. That's why I have to change this unique style of the coaching by training their mind, more focus on their mind rather than on their physical. Well, I'm not saying that physical is not important. Physical is important too. But I don't have much time to deal with the physical. So I ask them sometimes to train by themselves off court training. Okay. We're going to do three against two now. Uh, two boys, uh, three of you. Uh, three people serve, two, two people only receiving only. Always start from the three people serve. Okay, thank you. Uh, this one three against two. I know that everyone have it three against two, but if you catch my point just now, I keep repeating it. Three people serve. Three people serve, three people serve. The two people receiving first. What does that mean? 
three people. Obviously, three people is going to be stronger than two people, right? What happens if we face the person that's stronger than me? What happens if I face the person that's faster than me? What I'm going to do? So, by receiving serve, receiving serve in doubles, it's very important. So, by receiving serve, I make sure that I make my cot smaller. Their cot is already small enough by occupied by three people. So I'm going to make my cot smaller when I'm two people. Receiving serve. Receiving serve, it's important. The first five shot, the first four shot, five shot in doubles, it's very important. Take control first by receiving serve. That's why just now I say three people serve, two people, I'm going to take control. I'm going to take control. What do you want now? You want to attack? Set up. You want to attack? Go do it. If you want to attack by your net, people net back again, you're not ready, you're lifting, that's not good too. Okay? So you have to be able to cover, to close all the angle. Right? And three people. What we learn in this here, three people, we train their mind. You see, when you're three people, that is so fast, the bird. The bird returns shot, every shot is so fast. When you hit over there, that's a people. When you hit over there, that's a player already to return. So that means you're everywhere. So when you attack, three people attack, you see that? That's just like a wall, man. Like a wall. Front, it's like the wall to cut off. Behind the wall, there is another wall. That is why back years ago, why they built up the Great Wall in China to attack and to defend easy. Okay. You defend, you need to defend like the wall. Any players, all of your players in here to hit against the wall, hands up. Players for doubles, singles, whatever. You guys, you guys hit against the wall. When you hit against the wall, what did you tell your players? Did you just hit only? Okay, now you do hit 20 in a row, 50 in a row, 60 in a row. But when I tell my players, I used to, I used to tell them, do hit against the wall, 70 in a row, 80 in a row, 100 in a row. But what is the point? What is the purpose? You make them to become the wall. That's why you hit against the wall. You make them. When they become the wall, there is no panic when you defend. In doubles, attack is important. What about defend? Defend is even more important. Without defend, how can you play doubles? Right? You can see sometimes a singles player cannot play doubles. But they are powerful. Why they cannot play doubles? It's different. Sometimes the single defense and the double defense, it's totally different, right? In single, you don't drive that much. In doubles, you drive, you move in, you defend, defend counterattack, defend setup, and or you defend lifting, defend lifting. Okay, it's point of uh, every 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 defend have a different point. Why we need to defend counterattack? Why you need to defend uh, setup? Why you need to defend lifting? So every 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 defend have a point have a, have a different different point. It's the same thing with attack. Sometimes you full smash. Sometimes you half smash. Right. Any question for now on? Any question? No question. Okay, I'm gonna start with the mix now. Uh, I'm going to start with the mix. There is no rotation. No rotation. Girls in the front, guys at the back. No, no spin net, no close net. It's all placing net only. Go receive the surf. Go receive the surface.
Okay, thank you. When I say no rotation, uh, when I say no rotation for the mixed double, the girls, if you see the sometimes mixed doubles, usually uh, the girls is the key. The girl is the playmaker. The guy is the protector. How are you going to protect it? Don't clear <laughs> that much. You clear the guy, if my girl's, my, my, my partner, my girl's partner, it's a bit weak. If I clear, I'm not protecting her. It's the same thing, I'm become a pylon. Okay. But the girls, how am I going to protect you if you're lifting? Right? So the players, it's role of the players, you must have responsibility as your role. Like you in the front, you want me to protect you, but you're lifting. You're scared to play in the front. You don't want to play the front that much. So in the next five years, you're going to play the same. So in here, you play. Like, you know, in, when I play, when I train doubles and mix doubles, when I, I did jump in. Sometimes I do this drill too. And sometimes I hit their head too. Do you know why I hit their head? Sometimes I did on purpose to hit their head. You, won't, you, you shouldn't scare of the bird that come to you. You have your racket to protect you. That's why your racket up. Most of the players, sometimes you can see it's a habit a little bit, the racket down. I don't ask you to play with your head, to block with your head. If your racket up, you cover your face. Right? So sometimes I did on purpose to hit to their body. To their body. It sounds a bit mean. It sounds a bit harsh. And it sounds a bit not right. But can you say it's not right? When you play in the, in the championship, in the tournament, people hit you, you think it's not right? It is right. They not fall. It's part of intimidation. Right? It's part of pressure. Right? So that's it. That's just what I want to talk about for uh, today. I think I don't have much time left already. Uh, <laughs> any question? That's all. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Any question? Yeah. Nowadays, uh, with the mixed double changing, you said before that there was no rotation. What happened if the girls is also strong enough? Is there any rotation nowadays? For the mixed double? Oh, don't get me wrong. When I say no rotation in here, it doesn't mean that in the real game there is no rotation at all. When I say there's no rotation in here, I wanted the girl to be able to be, to be brave, to set up, to stand in the front. It's not no rotation in the game. Whatever sometimes that you learn in the court, sometimes it's, it doesn't mean that, okay, when I say no rotation, doesn't mean that you cannot rotate. When I say no lifting, it doesn't mean that in the game, you're not allowed to lifting. But this is what we, we want to train in a di different, different. They have, they have so many things to fix every player. Some of the players, they like to lift. They feel that lifting is they avoid everything. This is most of the, the player's problem, especially when they start learning. When they leave, they feel that the bird is far from them. Then they avoid it. They feel that it's comfortable. But that is the trouble already. If that is a strong opponent over there, you make problem already. You make trouble already. So I'm not saying that mixed doubles, that you're not allowed to rotate. You're not allowed to lift things. And you're right. The new style of mixed doubles, sometimes they put their girls at the back. Because why? If they smash... You know, guys is have a different speed, different power, different pressure. In here, boom, finish it all. Sometimes I use that strategy too, to put the girls at the back. Not the guys have to be at the back all the time. But thank you. Thanks for your question. Efandi, yes. can you play a game with you playing and showing us the shouting? 
<laughs> Just a few points. <laughs> okay. Can I take off the mic? Yeah. How, 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 how many minutes I have? Five minutes? Okay, I'll take off the mic first. I hope I get extra pay, yeah? If any, uh, what sort of drill would you have to, to teach rotation? Uh, to teach rotation, sometimes uh, they have a different fixed drill. Like you say, that's a, so many different drill. You can just fit in. Uh, I can show it to you right now. I have two minutes. Uh, Harry Fani, just a quick question over there. Oh. Uh, Hello. For the strategies for the mixed, at least for the high school and trying to get up to elite, would you say that a lot of the positioning for the bird would be mid-court to the sides to induce the girl to get out of position and or to force the gentleman up so that it opens up the back of the court to get them to sides? Is that still or is the strategy changing to something else? What, what, what the, the strategy for the mix sometimes, like when you, when you, when you play doubles, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be front and back. It doesn't have to be front and back. Let's say just now when I do the drill in here, when I do the drill, that's no, ro ro no rotation. No rotation. Let's say if the girl stand in this side, I can stand in this side, right? So not all the girls sometimes have to cover side by side. If you cover side by side, sometimes it's, it's a bit hard, right? Sometimes you need to choose one corner only. And the guys, you can play triangle. Okay, so you can play triangle. Yeah, did I answer your question? Oh, no. Sorry. Yeah, mostly. I, I just think when, when we're training, trying yeah. to get up to elite, it's yeah. always been told that all, a lot of the push shots are always half court to induce the gentleman up. Because typically the man Sorry, is always. I cannot, I cannot hear you. <laughs> uh, typically the man is always in the back, so you yeah. want to bring the guy up half yeah. court yeah. to force the woman out of position to open yeah. up the back court. 
and or you force a woman to the side instead of being at the tee. Is that old school or is that still current today? Yeah, we, 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 have, to, we have to see sometimes it depends on the opponent. Sometimes the opponent, it's pretty, the girl is pretty strong at the back and the guy is, is strong in the front. You don't want that happen. Sometimes the girls are strong at the back but slow in the front. So what are you gonna do? You don't have to push the guy to the front. If the guy you push in the front, how are you gonna push in the front? Are you gonna drive in the front one? If you drive in the front one, we're gonna get killed. If the girls is weak at the back, you wanna drive the guys push in the front and you push them at the back, yes, it's a good strategy. So it's all depend on the, our opponent. Any question? No, thank Time's you. Up. Yeah, thank you, Fendi. Yeah, if you need some extra uh, question, you can uh, ask him just, he's going to be just behind, so. Huh? Thank you, Fendi. Uh, thank you. Very well done. Yeah.